Hi everyone, this is the last of my Christmas video and so um, it is officially almost time for me to change my dolls into what they are going to wear for the new year. But you see this little barricade here and this barricade is of a few more of my American Girl dolls changed for Christmas. So I'm missing probably about uh, five or six because they're in storage but uh, this is what I have so far that I've tried to squeeze into my uh, unused guest room <laughs> so as you can see I'm trying to get like a full shot but I don't think I I will be able to so um, let me go ahead and take them bit by bit okay right here you have uh, my bitty baby um, she is Carmen Marabella and she is wearing this outfit and this book went along with it the snowy treats and she is a rare doll um, she's the one that has the light skin and the textured hair so um, in my family we have all types of uh, skin tones and so that's not very uncommon for the african-american family to have various shades of brown um, so she's um, a very light um, version of um, a light vinyl skin doll i guess uh, with textured hair to represent african-americans of various skin complexions we range from um, an espresso uh, dark chocolate color to a very light. Um, some of us, even with our eyes, um, have light eyes. So, um, and that's just because of the history of uh, our culture. And so this doll right here, you guys might recognize her. She is... Um, my latest bitty baby find she is from 1995 and her name is Juliet Marietta so sorry my camera is not wanting to cooperate today and focus so she is wearing a very old-school outfit and this outfit came with a nice little puzzle that you can put together a Christmas tree puzzle which I like and it's really cute because um, if you get in really close, you can see like the little popcorn garland with the cranberries, the hearts with the gingerbread, the bells, Christmas bells, and um, the nice little uh, Christmas ribbon. And so she has her original bitty bear. So you can see how the bitty bear moves. Um, she also came with some crayons, or her outfit came with some crayons that I have not opened. Um, and with this book, it comes with uh, Christmas tree ornaments that you can make. I probably will photocopy them and cut them out and put them on the tree that way. But it comes with little gingerbread uh, ornaments. Uh, a little teddy bear, candy canes, so it's really cute. I loved when Biddy Baby was able to make these things um, for the dolls collection. All right, speaking of dolls, here's another doll, um, and her outfit came with this little doodad, uh, this little nutcracker, and some nutcracker tickets, and she too is sporting um, a Christmas outfit that's similar to the Biddy Baby's outfit. So that year was, I believe, around 2012 that they sold this outfit. And uh, her name is um, Michelle Hazel, Olivia Bianca, or I feel like she looks like an Olivia, she looks like a Hazel. And I tried to put her hair in two pigtails with some Christmas bows because I wanted her ready for uh, Kwanzaa and um, my Kwanzaa outfit has not come yet so at least the modern one has not come yet okay next is Kaya my Native American doll 
And um, the one name that she will not be called is Magpie. Um, and I was finally able to get her meat accessories. So I'm really happy about that. And she's wearing her winter finest for this Christmas day. So that is Kaya. And she has her puppy, her little dog. And I, I did read her whole story. So um, I find her story very fascinating. And I love the fact that she still plays with dolls, even though she has a tremendous amount of responsibility. Because once you collect dolls, you know, that's always the case. Sorry about that, guys. I had a call coming in. Okay. This is Addie. And there she is in her beautiful outfit. And this is Be Forever Addie. So you can see that um, she looks a little bit different from my older Addies because she's got those eyebrows, those feathered eyebrows. Okay, another Addie mold that I have is Patricia Rochelle, and she has her ears pierced, and she is a Truly Me doll. I got her around the same time that I got um, my Hazel Bianca doll, Hazel Olivia Bianca. Um, this is a My AG doll, and her name is Holland Cornelia. She is a number 58. And I got her when she first came out. So you can see that her wig is nice and full. She's got a really full wig. And um, her features are of the of an older um, Pleasant Company kind of like doll. Because again, I got her when she was first run. She was one of the first original dolls uh, for 58. And this is her outfit, her holiday outfit. And I think this really looks good on her. Okay, uh, there's Gabby. And here is um, my Ida Bean doll that goes with my other Addy. Uh, this Addy I got around the time that my grandmother passed away. And my grandmother, believe it or not, her name was Addy. Uh, she was named after her grandmother. And so I just found that out not too long ago that she was actually named after her grandmother. Um, so this Addie is really special to me, even though she's a Mattel Addie and not a Pleasant Company Addie because I got her around 2013, uh, well, actually 2014. Um, but her hair is really nice. She's got beautiful, beautiful hair. And so I decided to show it off a little bit and take liberties with her hair since I have a couple of uh, different Addies. So she is wearing her meat outfit. Where my Be Forever Addie is wearing her um, nightgown from her collection. And this is my number three doll, um, my AG number three. And she is the doll with the blonde hair, blue eyes that looks similar to um, Kirsten, but her hair flips and it's straight and it's a lot shorter than Kirsten's hair. So her name is uh, Stacy Stephanie Rowan. And you've seen this doll before. Um, this is my Mattel Josefina. And she is wearing her latest um, holiday outfit. And there she is in her whole outfit carrying her doll, her Nina. This is my other 58 doll, Harper Cooper. And she is looking pretty in her holiday dress with her uh, accessories and everything. And she has her ears pierced. And you can tell her wig is a little bit different from uh, Holland Cornelia. And her face, is, um, her face mold is a little bit smaller. So um, I wanted to get a second one of number 58. 
This is Julie, aka Julia. And the reason I say that is because I read her book again and a song comes on the radio and she claims that that song was named after or that she was named after that song. Um, and the song's title was Julia or the name in the song was Julia. So um, even though American Girl claims that her full name is Julie, um, they forgot to talk to the author of Julie's book. So they might want to change that in the near future but this is her in her um other meat uh, other meat outfit other holiday outfit okay and this is one of my older dolls she is a pleasant company doll and she is a um just like you number 18 and her name is Gwyneth Bernadette and she is wearing an old school American girl outfit because she is an old school doll and she has textured hair like Addie's, but she has bangs and no ear piercings. Okay, and if you guys spied my other dolls, you are right, because I have Cecile right here with the pretty green eyes and her uh, holiday outfit, which I haven't seen in forever. So there it is with her gold shoes. And she's really special to me because she's the first doll that I ended up getting in the store. Um, all my other dolls were ordered from catalogs, but um, they opened an American Girl store in my neck of the woods. And she was the first doll I ever purchased uh, in an American Girl store. So I was so happy. That was back in 2012. And so around that time, her best friend, because remember, Cecile is rich and her best friend is rich, but she's not as rich as Cecile. So her name is Marie Grace and Marie Grace is wearing one of Cecile's outfits because I don't have a holiday outfit for uh, Marie Grace, but I think this outfit looks just as good. And uh, it has two bows, which I love because Marie Grace has beautiful hair. And this is my mother's doll. So uh, my mother and I are like best friends, I feel. <laughs> so um, I got her Marie Grace. And so now my mom is letting me um, have Marie Grace for a little bit. But I'm sure she's missing her, so I probably have to return her soon. Okay, and here is uh, the latest on my other Addie. Uh, she is dressed in the old-fashioned Kwanzaa outfit. And this outfit I got at a doll show. And it's miss she's missing her accessories that go with this Kwanzaa outfit. So um, a partial outfit is better than no outfit. <laughs> and so I'm still waiting for American Girl to uh, send me the modern Kwanzaa outfit, the one that they just released. But until then, I have my old school Addie uh, from the early 2000s in this Kwanzaa outfit. And she has her cards and we have the Kwanzaa book that teaches us how to uh, say all the names of all the Kwanzaa items that we will be using this holiday season. Um, so again, I have some of my other dolls on display, but um, Addie was definitely going to get changed for Kwanzaa since this outfit was a part of her collection. And um, yeah, that's it for right now. And so when I finally get my Kwanzaa outfit, I decided that I don't have the latest American Girl Truly Me doll that's featured in the latest Kwanzaa outfit, but I do have... Um, an Addie Face Malt doll who has the shoulder length curly hair. Um, so she is going to wear the Kwanzaa outfit. Um, I think it would look best on her. And so remember, uh, she actually looks like the little girl in this photo right here. So uh, remember that Kwanzaa is an African as well as an African American holiday that starts on December 26th. And um, I have a very diverse collection of dolls, and remember that African Americans in general 
we range in color because of our rich culture and because of the diversity that we have within our culture. Um, so the fact that um, she is a lighter skinned Addie doll wearing the Kwanzaa outfit represents the fact that we have various complexions in uh, the African American culture. And so um, that's something that still needs to be said to this day. Uh, because our families, as we welcome in other cultures into our blended and mixed families, we also have children who are of various skin tones as well. So um, I don't want anyone to get confused about um, why we as a culture have different skin tones, different variations, different eye colors, different hair textures. It's all a part of our culture. And so um, definitely try to get educated this holiday season. If you are planning on celebrating Kwanzaa or trying to incorporate it into your classroom or into your family events, because it's definitely something that does represent our community as African-Americans. All right. Talk to you later, guys.